Hello everyone. Let's take a quick look-see at how hypothesis works for social annotation. So here I am on the hypothesis homepage, and you'll get a nice overview about how it works and um, also that it is an open platform for our uh, free use of it. Let's go ahead and click this get started button up here in the upper right hand corner and you'll see three easy steps. First you want to create a free account then you want to add the Chrome extension to your Chrome web browser or if you do want to use another browser you do have this bookmarklet option. The Chrome extension is really the best way to go however. Once you do this, um, you can go to any web page or you can open a PDF from your computer in the browser and start selecting text and annotating. Now I'm going to take you off to a web page that has been heavily annotated using Hypothesis. You will notice that up here in the upper right, um, I have my hypothesis extension here, and I can see that there have been 237 annotations made to this particular article. So um, what I like to do uh, after I install an e extension that I'm going to use heavily is I click on the puzzle piece and I pin that to my browser so I don't have to keep going um, through the list to activate it. So I just click on the hypothesis extension icon here and out comes my tray. I see that the first annotation when I click on this comes up and there is a comment about the headline being more opinion than fact, but definitely an attention grabber. So I'm going to close up my hypothesis tray, but it's still activated as you can see right here on the right. And as I go through reading the article, when I want to see a particular comment, I just click on that highlighted text and it will take me to that individual's public comment. I can comment by highlighting and up pops the two options that I have, either annotate or just highlight the text. So I'm going to click annotate, the tray pops open, and I can type in my comment. I can also link out to other resources that are on the web, and I can also link out and insert an image um, from the web to extend um, my idea. You also see here the option to add in formulas. Um, I can add tags, so if I want to categorize the type of comments that I'm making, I can uh, use this tag feature. I also have the option to, instead of posting publicly, I can make my uh, comment private, as if I were working in a hard copy text and having only private comments. The other option is to post to a class group. So this way, this is a private group that only um, students and the instructor can see the posts in. I can also choose on to respond to someone's comment with this arrow and up pops the same um, window to be able to type in the comment. You see here that I can share a particular person's comment and here are the various um, sharing options right there represented by those icons. 
and you can also flag a comment as being inappropriate and this will be sent to the moderators. And this is all there is to it.